health tonight. New numbers are showing huge growth of telemedicine during this pandemic. Since March 1st, 74% of Texas doctors now say it's become part of their practice. News 4 troubleshooter Emily Bauckham finds out how this unexpected test period, you could say, may forever change how you go to the doctor. Delaying the pandemic forced government insurance to loosen restrictions and cover doctor visits on FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, platforms that before were not considered in line with patient privacy laws. The troubleshooters found out the one thing that you, the patient, need to ask as we move forward. Hey, Roger, how's it going? Good morning. Two weeks ago, Roger Amor had spinal surgery. I do the same thing, I'll try it on the left. He's been checking in with his doctor through Zoom. I can't do that on this one. Yeah. I yeah. So that left, le that left calf muscle still not working completely. Yeah. Even though this pandemic was going on, people were still having debilitating issues, you know, related to their spine. And, uh, you know, it's our job to make sure that they're getting the care they need. Dr. Matthew Swan, part of the 74% of Texas doctors who, when the pandemic hit, started embracing telemedicine. That's an amazing number. Texas Medical Association President Dr. Diana Fight says for the time being, government insurance like Medicare is paying for these visits in full. The same as an inpatient visit. Now that the genie's out of the bottle, the Medical Association hopes both public and private insurance companies will keep that full telemedicine coverage beyond this crisis period. What would you recommend patients ask? What questions should they ask before they sign up for one of these appointments? Well, I guess it would be whether their insurance does cover it and how much they cover for it, if that's uh, a concern of the patients. We'll plan on seeing each other in about four weeks, all right? While an app like FaceTime will never replace that face-to-face -face time. It does not work for, uh, in my opinion, if, if you're going to take someone back for a surgery. Both doctor and patient agree it's an efficient way to determine next steps. And having that telemedicine option is really, um, uh, it was a good option for me, uh, and, and I think really it eased any concerns I had about going out. The Medical Association does see a digital divide here with people in rural areas and inner cities lacking the broadband you need for telemedicine. They're hoping the governor sees that too and will address it. I'm News 4 troubleshooter Emily Balkum. All right, Emily, thank you. We are here to get you answers. So if you have something you want Emily and the troubleshooters to investigate, call 210-476-1070 or email them at troubleshooters at news4sanantonio.com.